We got a full moon shining on us. What does it mean? It's interesting. It's the full moon in Cancer. The sun entered Cancer on Friday, and now we have yesterday's full moon. So the emphasis is on bringing matters to a climax. So for Cancers, it's about them. It's about their personal lives. It's what they want. It's what they desire. It's what they need. And in so many ways, it's setting them up for a brand new start, their best new start in 12 years once they figure out what they want. For Leos, it is definitely time for Leos to say, I've done everything I could do for now. I want to take a step back. I need to um, assimilate everything that has happened, all the changes. Mm -hmm. Take a little time to think about how Leo wants to play it forward. Um, and know that whatever it is that they do will really not take effect until next August or so. Not this coming one, but the one after that. So it's a finishing up time for Leos rather than a starting new projects for Leos. Gotcha. For Virgos, on the other hand, it is time to rally their female friends, colleagues, co-workers, and reach for the brass ring. Virgos um, have, have done very well professionally over the last year or so, um, and now it's time to consolidate that into something that serves a group as well as the individual Virgo. For Libras, 10th house of career and public standing, the bosses... Andrew, are, are looking at them and evaluating their performance. And to, to Libras everywhere, I say, whatever the boss says he wants, just give it to him. Don't argue with him, just give it to them. And you'll find that you can hitch your wagon to their star as it rises. So, for Scorpios, important matters at a distance, legal matters, educational matters. The law's on Scorpio's side this month, and you know, when the law's on your side, you want to go ahead and use it to Absolutely. Get what you want. For Sagittarians, it is in their eighth house of other people's resources falling their way. Um, this full moon has shined the spotlight on what Sagittarius has and what Sagittarius doesn't have and needs from other people. And they're going to try and find a way to maximize existing resources rather than look for new ones. For Capricorns, the emphasis is on their partnerships, on their intimate one-to-one -one relationships, and they need to spend a little time solidifying those relationships. And they get that opportunity because that's what this is setting them up for, solidifying and making serious partnerships. For Aquarians, it's in their sixth house of work. It's time to nail down a difficult work situation. They've been dilly-dallying around trying to figure out what they're going to do with the work situation. Um, but, but that all gets cleared up over the next three or four weeks or so. For Pisces, it's in their fifth house, so we just want to have fun. We want to have a good time. Um, it's in amusements, pleasures, sports, single Pisces. Find someone married Pisces, their marriage goes well. It's a good time for romance for Pisces. For Aries, it's time to do something about their home. Refurbish their home, remodel their home, paint. And remember, Aries, whatever wall you paint, it makes the wall next to it look dingy. Mm. So it's the kind of thing where you have to have a plan, otherwise it'll get out of control. For Tauruses, the pace of their day-to-day -day living picks up to warp speed to where they've got more than one place to be. They've got places to go, people to see, things to do, arrangements to be made. So the best thing all of us can do is get out of the Tauruses' way and just let them do all of the things they need to do. And then for Gemini, the last time we're going to talk about, it's about the money. It's about making more money. It's about them taking actions instead of just saying, I wish I could make more money. They need to take some sort of positive action and they get that opportunity through the help of their female friends or through females to increase the amount of money they have at the end of the month. So that's tomorrow's news today for the 12 signs of the Zodiac. And it's just a warning, um, but Mercury retrogrades at the end of the week. Yeah! I know, I know. I figured I would save that to the end so you can go get out of here yeah! when I am done. Yeah, we'll talk about that a little <laughs> bit more, what it means the next time I'm here if I'm allowed back. <laughs> have a good one. We'll see Always you then. Always a pleasure.